Hi, we're here today with Dr. Emily Kaiser. She's a pediatrician with Beacon Medical Group, Bristol Street and Elkhart. Dr. Kaiser, thanks for joining us today. Yes, thank you for having me. So today, you know, we're going to talk about a recommendation by the American Academy of Pediatrics. This was actually um, something they recommended in April, and that is that children, despite coronavirus and the pandemic that we're seeing right now, that they still be seen for their annual checkups, screenings, physicals, and that they receive their immunizations. Um, again, even during this uncertain time of the pandemic. So talk about the importance of each of these, why you still want to be seeing kids. Yeah, so there are a lot of different reasons that we feel very strongly we should still be seeing kids. The first is immunizations. And it is of the utmost importance that kids get their vaccines and they get them on time. You know, we as pediatricians are kind of terrified that if families are not bringing their children in to get vaccines, that this could lead to a different global health crisis. So an outbreak of measles, whooping cough, or some other vaccine preventable disease. And that's, that's terrifying, right? You know, where would we be if something like that happened at the same time? So getting immunizations, one of the most important things for physical exams. Uh, the second thing is we also do a lot of screening at our well child checks. So we screen development, growth, mental health, and a lot of times if we find concerns, we need referrals. So we need specialists or we need therapies and any delay that there may be in making these referrals could be harmful or could be detrimental to the kiddos. So very important to do all those screenings on time as well. Um, a third thing is, Surprisingly, a lot of unexpected concerns come up at well child checks. So the family may come in not thinking that they have any concerns, but as we as providers start to ask our questions, they realize, oh yeah, you know, my kid actually does have headaches quite a bit, or yeah, sleep has been rough, you know? So it's an excellent time for face-to-face -face interaction that we do a lot of teaching. We do a lot of education and counseling. We give a lot of resources. Um, and we just spend a lot of time being supportive of the families. And you really can't replace that face-to-face -face interaction. You can't, um, and even during the pandemic, I was gonna say, there may have been issues that have crept up for their child, right? That they may not even really realize or recognize until they come to see you. Correct, and now that they're around their kids a whole lot more, they actually could be seeing those concerns more than they have been when they were in school or when they were doing their other activities. That makes a lot of sense. How about physicals? Yeah, so again, you know, telemedicine is fantastic, right? But physical exams is not one of its strengths. So, you know, you really can't replace putting your stethoscope on a child's chest, feeling their abdomen, feeling their muscle tone. Nothing can replace that physical contact. And again, we often find surprising things on physical exams that require, again, referrals or further workup that really need to proceed at that time. Um, and, and, you know, with all the things that I said above, we, we do know that the IHSAA has changed their guidelines on physicals and sports physicals this year, and they're not requiring it the same as years previously. But all the things that I talked about, you know, before emphasize the reason why we still feel very, very strongly that people should still come in to see us and still get their well child exams. So if say, um, you know, you're, something happens in the fall and fall sports, we, we still don't know what is going to be uh, recommended or what's going to happen with sports. But say you were planning on getting that physical for a small or small, a, a fall sport for your child, your recommendation is then, even if that sport is canceled, what should the parent do? So really just to come in to get their yearly physical, their once a year checkup, no matter if they're playing sports or not, we still wanna have that checkup. Um, what could happen, say, if you miss some of these things? I mean, you mentioned that you might miss, you might miss certain things that parents aren't recognizing, but even with immunizations, if you miss those, I mean, we don't want any other troubles or health problems for the children or in our world, do we? Right, right. And that's kind of what I was saying. You know, if we had another measles outbreak or something at the same time as COVID, like that's just going to be a disaster. We're not equipped to deal with that. So that's one of the main reasons that we need to do that. 
Yeah, for sure. So uh, safety measures that we have in place, Beacon and our offices like yours in Elkhart, we've always been safe, of course, and had our patient at the center. Um, but tell me a little bit about those enhanced measures that now are in place. What can parents and kids expect when they come to see you? Sure. So the first is that everyone who is over two years old is required to wear a mask. Um, and just kind of a safety side note, please don't put masks on babies less than two years old. That is very not safe. <laughs> so everyone over two wears a mask. Um, before anyone is allowed into the building, we screen everyone, actually the day before they come and the day that when they arrive. And we ask about symptoms, we ask about any possible exposure to COVID. And then we ask that they stay in their car until they receive a phone call from the nurse. And then they will be escorted directly to an exam room. So that really decreases the traffic and the people that we have like walking by each other in the hallways. Um, we've also worked really hard at keeping well visits separate from ill visits. And we've put quite a few things in place for that. So the first is physical barriers. So they come in two different doors in the building or right now it's two different buildings. So like the Goshen office is all ill visits and the Elkar office is all well visits. But they have separate entrances. And then we also look at the time of day to see when they're scheduled and what else might be coming in at that time of day. And then we have designated teams for the day. So like well teams, you know, you have a well physician, a well provider, and they're well nurses. And that's all they do for the day. They don't cross paths. And then we have the ill team for the day, you know, who the physician is just seeing ill patients and um, their nursing staff is seeing ill patients. So we've worked really hard at just keeping everybody separate, basically. Um, and, and you know, our, our safety measures have to be constantly changing with the different recommendations and the different things that are coming out. But our families have been amazing and super flexible with changing with us, which we really appreciate. And we hope that we can continue to work together in the future. Yeah, because it's going to continue changing and little adjustments may have to be made, right? Absolutely. Exactly. And it's important, I think, as we boil all this down, it's important to remember that what you do for your child, it's really protecting them. But isn't it protecting others as well, those people that your child comes into contact with, with everything that you've said? Exactly. Absolutely. Dr. Kaiser, thank you so much. Great reminders. Parents, please take your child in um, if they are due for their physicals, well exams, screenings, immunizations. It's really important. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much.